Do you have friends who keep trying to send you TikTok videos? Well, you better find new friends then. Alternatively, if you want to see the videos, but you don't want to go to the TikTok website, you can try out something like ProxyTalk. It's basically a privacy front end for TikTok, like how Knitter is for Twitter and Bibliogram is for Instagram, and you guys know the one for YouTube, I don't need to mention it. And like all of these, there is a public instance we can go and use, but if you want to go and host it for yourself, that is absolutely available as well. There is a list of instructions on the GitHub, and it seems pretty straightforward to do. Right now, it's pretty basic in the way it looks and the way it's laid out, but it does pretty much everything it needs to do. So let's go and search by username and go to a creator's page. And we'll go to the one for my gaming channel, which if you don't know, I upload, or at least I used to upload my gaming clips over to this channel as well. And any load issue you're seeing, are probably related to my connection. Now, when you do search for a username, even though usernames do include an at symbol, make sure you don't include that. So right now, as I mentioned, it's pretty basic and doesn't actually strip out the extra at symbol. It probably should do that, but that's for a newer version. Anyway, if you want to watch a video, it's basically just as simple as finding the video you want to watch, let's say this one right here, clicking on the video, okay and then it will just start playing. Now, the reason why this can work is basically because TikTok doesn't really have any measurable form of DRM. Their DRM and the DRM of most video platforms out there is we don't provide a download link, but there's nothing stopping you if you just go to the video link to embed it elsewhere. So if you have some method to scrape their API or scrape their website, and then you put those links in a different location, everything just works. And that's what's happening here. Along with also providing download links to the video with the watermark and without the watermark. And I have no idea why they store the video without the watermark if it's only ever going to be shown with it. Maybe for marketing purposes in the case of using certain content, but it seems really strange either way. But anyway, the option is there, so feel free to go and use it. But the most important button is this one right here. Copy a link in the regular website format. The reason why this is great is because if you go and send a link to proxytalk.herokuapp.com, people are going to be very, very confused. So when you're sending stuff to the normies, like you want to see with Knitter and Bibliogram as well, you want to have the regular link so they don't think you're trying to send them malware. And there's another great thing about this creator page. Let's say you want to keep up with someone's content, but you don't want to have to go back to this page every single time. Well, what you can do instead is grab the RSS feed. So we can go and take this link right here, stick it in whatever our favorite RSS feed reader is. In my case, that's going to be Newsboat. Stick the link there. And then when I go and open up the application, it's going to load in a feed that contains the links from this account. Now, keep in mind the RSS feed is being populated from the instance you are using. So if you're self-hosting an instance, make sure you keep it running. And this feed works basically as you might expect. So let's go into the feed, grab this video right here, open that up. And it's going to open up a page that contains just that individual video. But generally, I wouldn't be here to just browse the platform. There is a very small amount of content that I would ever watch on this platform. And most of it is also on YouTube. So usually, someone is going to send me a link. So the way we can go directly to a video is there's also the ability to search by ID. So you might notice that every single video has this long string of numbers. This string is going to be in the regular TikTok link as well. That string is the video ID. So if you go and take that ID and then stick it into the search by ID here, it's going to go directly to that video without going through the rest of the nonsense. But unlike when you go to a video on a creator page, there's no next and previous button here. This video basically exists as its own separate entity. There's no algorithm pushing you forward or even just like a linear list of videos that you can go through on the creator. So if you just want to see a single thing, this is the best way to do it. Also, it should be noted that even when a video does have comments, there is no way to view the comments on this platform at the moment. Maybe that'll happen in the future, but at least for now, that's not going to be a thing. And you know what? I don't consider that much of a drawback. There's not really any useful discussion that ever happens on that platform anyway. So 
nothing is lost, but I felt like it was worth mentioning. And when you are on an individual video like this, you can also jump to the creator page by clicking on their name here. And like before, it's gonna show you every video they've uploaded. While we're here, there are some things I would love to see. Right now, the videos are just in upload order. There is no way to filter them or sort them or anything like that, at least from the user perspective. Maybe there's some way to do it when you actually set up the application yourself. I would like to see some way to maybe search by the name of the video, maybe the tags it has, maybe sort by the number of views, number of likes, number of comments, things like that, because that data is clearly available, it's just not being used in any tangible way for the user. I don't know if that's possible with the way the TikTok API currently works and the wrappers that are being used to make it more convenient, but if it is possible, I would certainly love to see it. Now, if you don't just want to go to an individual video or a creator page, there is some options in regards to browsing. Some of them I wouldn't recommend using, but the options are certainly there. One of the options we have is searching by tag. So we can search for something like gaming, and in this case, it's not going to show the most recent videos, it's going to show whatever is being recommended by the platform. When I planned out this video a couple of days ago, I believe this video was still at the top, so clearly it's not what's new. And we can also search by the music ID. Now the music ID is not accessible from videos on this platform. Normally it would be if we like right click on this and grab the link like we see on the main platform, but it is what it is. So the music ID is basically like the video ID, this section at the end indicating what it actually is. So let's go and grab that one, stick it in here, and then it works basically as you'd expect. But if you really want to dive into trash content, there is also the discover button and the trending button as well. Discover is going to show you new channels you can follow, which may or may not have good content. I have no idea who any of these people are. And then trending will show you what is trending on the platform. If you really, really, really want to waste your time. Personally, I don't understand the platform at all, like literally at all, when people send me TikToks, I'm like, why, why did you send me this? Especially when it's like TikTok style content. I don't get it. Maybe I'm just getting old. I have no idea. But this is a better way to deal with some of those links than going directly to the TikTok website. And it's great to see that something like this actually exists now. And as always to the developer, I apologize if I crashed your instance with this video. That wasn't my intention but hopefully it gets a bit more attention now. This is basically the only TikTok front end I've seen, at least for the web base. I've seen a couple of terminal based ones that don't really work that well and are a bit jank, but with some polish, I could see this be recommended alongside things such as Knitter and the one for YouTube. And that's gonna be it for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Is this something you would ever go and use? And if you were going to use it, what sort of polish would you like to see added? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon subscribe. It's the only pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.